What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and the first thing I want to say is a big shout out to Alpha for letting me use his house again to film um, and helping me film. So thank you Alpha, I appreciate you. But the other thing I want to say is Hero just got some crazy new support in the brand new Battles of Legend Monstrous Revenge and that is the new Elemental Hero Infernal Rage Flame Wingman. Let's show it off here, it's just such a pretty card. So this card is absolutely insane and it does some really cool things for the deck. It lets you do some really cool combos and I'm gonna explain it when we get into it, but because this card is now out, I wanted to do an updated deck profile for you guys, just showing off what this uh, card can do. I'm also gonna be showing you guys a combo video. We're not gonna be doing the combo in this video specifically, but make sure to like and subscribe so that you guys can stay tuned for when we do that combo video. All right, all right, let's get it. So. Uh, we're gonna get into the deck profile here. It's 41 cards in the main deck. We're starting off with three Stratos. I actually think you need to be playing three Stratos. Um, for a while I was playing two, but I think three actually just makes the most sense because this card with the new Flame Wingman, this card with Maui's combo, this card with Ferris's combo, this card with Hero Lives's combo. Like, there's so many different ways to combo now and you just really need to see Stratos. So for that reason, I think having the three is very mandatory. I know it can sometimes be, I guess, quote unquote redundant, but the thing is with this deck is it's all about having gas and as much gas as possible. And as, as long as you see one, you're pretty much winning. Playing two Shadow Mist, I think this is still pretty standard. I think you still need to be playing two. Uh, typically, you just want to summon the first one so that you can get its effect off to get mass change. And then the second one, dumping it, is also never a bad thing as well to get its graveyard effect. So we definitely want to be playing two uh, Shadow Mist. Uh, one Liquid Soldier. Uh, this is a going first build, and I think Liquid Soldier makes a lot of sense. Being able to end on Ab Zero sometimes, depending on where your combo lines go, is really, really powerful. It's also a really good extender for you, and then turns two and turns three. And it's another attribute, which is really important because that's how you get into stuff like your Infernal Rage. It's how you get into your Sunrise, etc., etc. right? So the Liquid Soldier makes sense. Uh, I'm, I still like to play the one Honest Neos. I know this is something that people stopped playing. I still like to play the one of, just because I feel like with one Honest Neos, it just helps you one OTK faster, but two protection for your Dark Law. And again, if you're ending on like Dark Law DPE, being able to just not have your Dark Law destroy the battles is pretty powerful. So I still like the one Honest Neos and it's another elemental hero in a different attribute for those fusion monsters that we talked about earlier. And lastly, we're playing one elemental hero Neos. So this is crazy because I never thought in my entire life we'd ever be playing Neos in a competitive deck. Um, but it just, it, you can play it now because with uh, the new Flame Wingman card being able to search favorite contact means that you can make Shining Neos Wingman on your opponent's turn. And Shining Neos Wingman has a crazy effect when, when it's summoned, you can pop cards on the field, any cards on the field, up to the number of monsters with different attributes you control. And typically your end board is gonna have at least two to three. So you're gonna be ending on at least two pops in this combo, which is kind of crazy, sometimes three pops. Plus you have the DPE pop, plus you have a Dark Law, which kind of crazy, right? So that's why we're playing the Neos. And typically in these Flame Wingman decks, you play the Avion and the Burstinatrix. You actually don't need them anymore because uh, Neos is just kind of fixes that for you with the, the brand new uh, Flame Wingman. So this card is it's so cool that I get to be playing Neos in, in 2023, which is kind of crazy. So that's it for the Elemental Heroes, but we're playing the Vision Hero package, of course, still. So three fairies, two Vion, and one Increase. I know some people like to play two Increase because they don't want to draw. And if you draw, it's a brick. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's true. Um, but I don't want to play two. I don't want to even have the chance of drawing it, it does nothing for you in hand. One increase is all you need, just don't draw it and you're fine. Uh, we're playing two Mali, one Denai of course, so basically three Mali here to be honest with you. Uh, and then one Plasma as well as one uh, Dark Angel. This package I think is really, really powerful, like Mali letting you combo is really, really powerful. Plasma is a really good card that you can end on. Dark Angel as well if you get that combo off against Kostra, against Runic, against most decks, it's just auto win to be honest with you. So. Uh, yeah, Dark Law, I think, or Dark Angel and Plasma, I mean, are just really, really powerful. If you're able, like, even if you don't, the, the thing about Hero that I really like is even if you're not able to get certain combo lines off, you're always going to get something off. So if you get the Dark Angel line off, even if you're not ending on Dark Law plus DPE, and you just have like a Dark Law or just a DPE plus a Dark Angel, like that's still really powerful as well, right? So that's why I really like all these kind of power cards. So that's it for the monsters here, for our hero monsters. I think it's, it's very consistent. There's nothing really I would change here. The only thing I would say is a part of me really wants to play only two Ferris because Ferris is not great with other cards in hand. Like it's good if you open Stratos, it's good if you open it and Malicious, but it's not really good with any other hero names. Um, you can argue Shadow Mist, it's okay. Maybe Denier, but I don't know. We're still playing three though because of uh, consistency and you really want to see it, okay? So that's it for the monsters here. For the spells, it's just more gas, right? We're playing three hero lives. Again, like I said, 
you really need to get the Stratos in a lot of these combos now. So if you open, instead of Stratos Ferris or Stratos Mali, you can open Hero Lives Mali, Hero Lives uh, Ferris, and you can still combo as well. So that's why you need to play three Hero Lives. Three Fusion Destiny, of course, this card is very powerful. We all know how powerful this card is. One Poly and one Miracle Fusion. This, I think, is all you need. This is kind of how you combo, and uh, you're gonna get these uh, recurrence off of these because of your Wonder Driver, which is always gonna bring them back depending on which one you need, right? So. Yeah, we're playing these ratios for the fusion cards. We're playing uh, three mass change, of course. Uh, we want to go first and uh, we want to make sure everything resolves. So opening a mass change is really good because it guarantees you always like a dark claw or an ab zero. If you don't open mass change, it's fine because you can search it. The other thing what's really nice about opening mass change, if you go normal summon Stratos and they try to stop this, you can always dodge like hand traps like Baylor, Imperm, etc. etc. Uh, one rota, of course, for consistency. And then I'm playing two tactics as one is one called by. Uh, because we're going first, my opponent is most likely going to have hand traps which means they're also most likely going to use those hand traps. And I think TTT is really good. Just if they, if your opponent uses a hand trap and then you rip another card out of their hand, they're down to three cards. If you can set up some kind of board, the thing about this deck, again, like I said, it has a lot of gas. So one hand trap typically is not enough to stop this deck from playing. So for that reason, like having your opponent like bait out there or having you bait out your opponent's hand traps and then use TTT, rip another card can be really, really powerful. The only real hand trap this deck loses to is Nib, to be honest. So. I mean, yeah, if you, if you get nibbed, I guess you go tactics and I guess try to draw two, maybe get more gas, I don't know. But tactics is really powerful, right? So that's it for the spells. Um, that, that, yeah, that's kind of really it for the spells, just consistency and stuff. And then lastly, uh, we had eight more spots, sorry, uh, seven more spots that I'm playing. So we're playing three Ash, three Imperm, I just think the best hand traps in the format, the most generic ones, going first, going second, these are really, really powerful. And then lastly, we're playing the one favorite contact. This is a card that you can now search, which is really, really powerful. It's a card that helps you make Shining Neo Swingman. And yeah, so it's just a one of, and that's kind of why I'm playing 41 cards instead of 40 right now, because uh, this card as the 41st card. It's not horrible if you draw it, you just prefer to search it, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's it for the main deck. 41 cards in the main deck. And again, I'll show you guys a combo in a separate video because the combo is kind of insane for this. So uh, let's get into the extra deck now. We are playing uh, two Dark Law. I still think this is pretty mandatory. And then we're playing, oh, wait a second. Are those custom Spanko sleeves? Hey, do you guys want custom sleeves by any chance? You can do this if you go on yourplaymat.com and use my code for 10% off. I'll leave a link in the description as well as the code. Um, yeah, anyways. Let's get back into the deck profile here. We are playing the one blast, of course, like I mentioned earlier, mass change, your straddles into blast is really powerful. Of course, Dark Law is always gonna be really, really powerful. Then for the hero fusions, or the elemental hero fusions, I should say, playing the one Ab Zero, of course, because we're playing the Liquid Soldier. Uh, one of the Shining Neos Wingman and one of the Flame Wingman Infernal Rage. Bro, this is so crazy to me. The fact that we're playing these cards in 2023. Sorry, I was just waiting for the thing to go away. The fact that we're playing Flame Wingman and Neos in 2023 is, is so crazy for me because these are my favorite cards ever. These are the cards that got me into the game at Yu-Gi-Oh! We're playing these two. This is kind of part of your combo piece now. Same with uh, Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. The really cool thing about all of these cards um, that I want to mention as well is yes, this is a going first deck that can combo and end on really powerful things, but Wake Up Your Elemental Hero, Shiny Neos Wingman, Infernal Rage are all really good cards that OTK in your opponent as well. So even if you're forced to go second, you can still OTK your opponent, which is crazy with this deck, right? So these are the heroes that kind of where your combos kind of go through and same with Sunrise. Sunrise is kind of one of those combo pieces as well, getting you to your Miracle Fusion, etc., etc. Then we're playing the one DPE, of course. And then the last card that I'm playing for the hero fusions is Trinity. I kind of want to talk about Trinity because this is the one um, quote unquote cuttable card. Uh, so Trinity could be another Destiny hero fusion. It could be um, a guy that goes like this. Dystopia. I, I know, sorry, I know. I always, I that's the only way, I, I think it's Dystopia. That card helps you burn in time sometimes, so if you're going to game three, you can make that card burn your opponent. It could be Flame Wingman technically, because if it's Flame Wingman, what you can do is you can actually have access to his second effect, where you can tag him out for a Flame Wingman. But again, that doesn't come up too often anyway, so Trinity was the one card where I'm like, this is your another OTK option for you, just requires any three hero man monsters, so it could be Vision Hero as well. And then if your opponent has just a weak monster on board, you can just push for game with this, which is really powerful. So again, this is a one cuttable card um, and you can kind of make it whatever you want to make it. Then um, one of my favorite extra hero cards is uh, Infernal Divisor. This card gets all your combos going. It's what searches you your Neos. Uh, then we're playing two Cross Crusader, of course, this card is really important to all of your combos. One Wonder Driver to bring back your fusions. Um, one of the best line twos in the deck. And then lastly, I like Dread Decimator. Sometimes when you're pushing for game, it's a big body for you. So that's it for the extra deck, 15 cards. Again, 14 of them I would say are mandatory. I think the Trinity is the only one that's kind of like not necessarily mandatory, but 
it's something that you can always just consider, right? And then um, I'm gonna show you guys a quick side deck, although the side deck, of course, is always gonna be up to personal preference. We're playing three Gamma Seal, I think going second. Okay, so first of all, going first in this deck, because it's such a combo-based deck, most of my side deck is built to go second here. Even though this deck, the main deck itself, can go second pretty well, I just wanted more options to go second and be able to break boards. So three Gamma Seal is really, really powerful for going second. One Harpy's Feather Duster, two Lightning Storms, and three Cosmic Cyclone. So this is against back row. I hate back row. This deck hates back row. You really don't want to play against back row matchups. You have all this back row heat here. Lightning Storm is really good against front row as well. And the reason you play Cyclone over Lightning Storm into certain matchups like Labyrinth or even into most things actually is because um, this deck, if you guys can see, has a lot of spell cards. And a lot of spell cards means uh, you lose pretty hard to anti-spell and anti-spell is pretty relevant this format. So I think having the quick play is really important for that reason. But in general, all these cards are really, really powerful board breakers, which is really nice. And then for when you're going first, uh, three rivalry. Rivalry just makes the most sense because uh, you're playing only warriors and into a lot of decks, so they can't just play around rivalry. There's times where you end on the dark angel lock where you put this on your opponent's side of the field and then you just flip a rivalry and then they're legitimately suck. So that's why rivalry I think is too, too important to not play. So this is a 12. So you have three more slots. Three slots, these kind of are up to you. If you guys want to play more go second cards, I think Raigeki can be pretty good in today's format just because it's one of those cards that just kind of breaks boards. This could be Dark Ruler no more, kind of depending on what you want. I think this deck wants to OTK, so I actually wouldn't play Dark Ruler. That's just me though. Yeah, Raigeki could be another option for you if you want more cards for going second. But if you guys want more cards for going first, uh, you can play D-Barrier. D-Barrier is really good into Mana Diem, into Sword Soul, which is gaining a lot of popularity. Just calling Synchro can just be auto win sometimes. It's just an auto blow card against so many different things. So this card could be Barrier, could be the Regekis, could be Solemn Judgments. So these are 12 cards. I think you guys should be playing these 12 cards. And then the last three cards is kind of whatever you guys want to play. So that's it. That's it for the deck profile. Uh, Elemental Hero, Flame Wing Man, Infernal Rage. The card is nuts. Oh, by the way, okay, before I go, I think I actually did a really bad job because I think I told you guys I would explain Infernal Rage, but I didn't. So let me just quickly, 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 quickly explain this card. So this card is insane, okay? For multiple reasons. One, it's really easy to summon. It just needs two hero monsters with different attributes. So unlike the original Flame Wingman that needs Avion Bersinitrix, this could be any two. So it kind of has the same condition where you summon Sunrise. So the other really cool thing about this is when this card is special summoned, you can add a card with favorite in the name to your hand. And so why that's so important is because if you guys want to play an OTK build, by the way, there's a funny card called Favorite Hero that can help you OTK. But this specifically is going to search your favorite uh, contact over here, which I'm gonna pull out. And this card is insane because it lets you special summon a fusion monster from your extra deck using hero monsters and you can ignore summoning condition. So essentially how the combo kind of works to just explain it for you guys real quick, not to go too much in depth with it, but you can reveal Neo Swingman off of your Infernal Divisor. And then you kind of, you search Neos. And then once you search Neos, you're using pretty much the Neos and like later on in the combo you use Neos and this to make this on your opponent's turn. And then you get to pop three cards pretty much. The fact that you have a searcher for your fusion trap, which is an insane trap, by the way, this card is insane, but it was just not playable beforehand because you couldn't search it. But now it's searchable, which is insane. So yeah, anyways, that was a quick explanation. Again, a more in-depth explanation is gonna be in the combo video. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I think this video has gone on long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I think it's been like 15 minutes or something like that. That's the deck profile. I'm super excited. Flame Wingman Neos in 2023. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Thank you Alpha again for filming. Thank you for letting me use your beautiful home. And with that, um, I think that's really all I gotta say. So thank you. Peace.